Hi everyone, uh, this is my second YouTube post and I just want to say a big thank you to all the people that did leave a message on my first post. Um, you've been great, very supportive, I even had someone who liked my accent, which is good. Um, so yeah, I'm really really pleased and it's great to know that there are people out there who do care. Now, I'm going to be looking on this thing here um, at the same time as talking to you. And it's fantastic to have like comments saying, you know, someone lost £130. I mean, it's amazing. I just can't believe. And one day I, I'll be able to say, well, I lost £130. It's just, yeah, it's very exciting um, to soon be like those people that have been in my shoes. So today is the 16th of the 11th. I'm doing a post today to talk about several things. If I do get interrupted, it's the gas people. My house is like Pandora's box. Everything falls apart. And last night the heating wasn't working. And now we've got problems with the gas. There's a blockage. So my house is probably going to blow up any minute. So, hey. So, yes. Um, for the last couple of days, I haven't really been doing much. Um, I've noticed that I'm really, really unhealthy. I went to Crystal Palace because... Um, I went to the reptile shop and I was buying myself two snakes, I know, not everyone's cup of tea but I'm really looking forward to getting them, two albino ball pythons, <sighs> really really excited, anyway, going off the subject there, I walked up the stairs, there was like three lots, not three lots, but you know like stairs, 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 but, but three times, I was pooped, by the time I got to the top I was like gasping for air, um, I've always been a big person, but I've been fit with it. So to actually be fit, um, to be fat and not fit, I was just like, oh my God, I'm going to have a heart attack. I have this feeling that I'm actually going to die before I even have this blooming op operation. So, yeah, very out of breath. Um, I question myself if I am actually fit enough for the operation. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be playing on my mind. Because if I can't even do simple exercise and I'm, you know, like, uh, uh, like that, then how am I going to be with anaesthetic? So it is, it is on my mind and it is worrying, but um, I think I'm going to start walking more. Because the operation is not till the 27th of December. So I'm kind of hoping to do more exercise and try and get a little bit better. Also, on the package that I've got, because if you don't know, I've opted to do this privately. And on the package, it says that you have to do a certain diet beforehand, and that's to shrink your liver. So anyway, they recommend that you do it for two weeks. But I thought, well, I'm going to do it for three weeks beforehand, because it doesn't just shrink your liver, you lose weight as well. But now I'm thinking I might go on that diet four weeks in advance, because... If I can lose about a stone, maybe two before the operation, I think I would cope a lot better uh, during the uh, operation and also afterwards. So, yeah, that's been playing on my mind a lot. Am I fit enough? Am I going to make it? And yeah, just those little niggling things that you think about all the time. Um, what else have I been thinking about? I don't know, so many things go into your mind. I'm the kind of person that when I'm going to do something, I do it on that day. Like if I get a tattoo, which I'm sure everyone knows I have tattoos and everything like that. I'm the kind of person who goes, okay, I'm going to get a tattoo, bam. Within an hour, I'm down at the tattooist and I'm getting a tattoo. I can't be one of those person that says, next week I'm going to go and get a tattoo, next week I'm going to get a piercing, because I'm my own worst enemy, because then I start thinking, and oh, it, it, it's a nightmare, it really, really is a nightmare, so I kind of wish uh, the operation was like tomorrow, that way I couldn't back out, I wouldn't be freaking out, and it's just one of those things, so, um, but anyway, um, so what else has been happening? Um, a lot of my friends are really supportive. One of my friends 
she she's actually not worried about the operation she's just like i hope you can have the operation because she said if i have um i think it's the 21st i have to go in and have blood test and you know blood pressure blah 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 all these things and she said um i would be really disappointed for you if they if they said no you can't have the operation you're not fit enough uh blah blah blah, blah. and i was saying to her i don't really mind if they say you can't have it now because i will have it if it's in december january or february no matter what i'm going to have the operation so i'm, I'm not really worried about the test that uh, determine if I'm going to have the op or not. Um, but yeah, but everyone's been really supportive. Not everyone knows I'm going to have the operation. My sister doesn't know. Um, a few people don't know. On Facebook, I've got a Facebook, I've got two Facebooks. One's for my friends and family, and a lot of them don't know that I'm going to be having the operation. Um, because I want to be like in four months time, I'm going to put a really like sexy picture up, you know, no, not like, you know, nasty sexy, I mean like, you know, nice top, nice figure, I know I'm going to have all that loose skin hanging, but I'm sure I can duct tape that in and take a picture, but um, yeah, so I want it to be like uh, that American TV show, you know, Extreme Makeover, I want it to be like that, everyone remembers me a certain way, and then in four or five months time, they're going to be like, who's that? Whose picture is that on fake? No, that is not Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and it'd be really good. Um, and one of my other friends, she was even saying to me, if I didn't know you were going to have the operation, and I stumbled across you... Um, on the street in like four months time I probably wouldn't recognize you because she's been on fa um, not on Facebook she's been on YouTube and she's seen the transformation from you know 30 stone <coughs> to 10 stone I don't know what that is in kilos or pounds but you know big she's seen them she's like oh my god she's like really excited for me she says you know I bet I won't even recognize you so that's another thing I see people and I go, I think to myself, I don't know, what will I look like? Will I be me? You know, because sometimes you get worried that you're going to look like someone totally different. Of course you're going to be pretty, but I don't know. Anyway, it's just me thinking too much. I've got too much time on my hands, I'm thinking and thinking. But yeah, so... Yes, I think that's all I have to say really, without waffling on and on, but my new thing is try and exercise more. Also, my mum wants me to eat less portions, which is understandable. Now, I don't know if this is the same for other people, but when you have a big stomach, um, you eat a lot, you need more acid to break down the food, blah, blah, blah. Um, so when I don't eat, I actually physically feel really sick, um, really bad. I think one of the times I was on um, Weight Watchers, Slim Fast, you don't, well, you'd have one meal and then the other meal would be um, a milkshake. Well, I had the milkshake and within God knows how long, I actually vomited it up purely because I had so, so much acid in my stomach it was just, it was awful, it was a nightmare, and that's what I'm kind of looking forward to with the operation is, um, the stomach will be the size of a two-year-old stomach, it will be a small pouch, so there won't be a lot of acid there, I hope, but yeah, so it's all exciting, and like I said, I'm not really thinking about it too much, I'm thinking more afterwards, you know, like fast walking. I've got three dogs, two small dogs, and I've got one, uh, Maggie. She's like a Belgian Shepherd and a, uh, a Collie. I could run with her. I, and just imagining me run. I mean, I can't even run for a bus. You know, I'd rather be late. So, yeah, I'm really thinking more about my new life. What am I going to do? Um, how am I going to cope? I'm preparing myself because there's a lot of videos on YouTube where this one, she's a young girl, 
she was crying afterwards she was really emotional bless her she was really in a in the right state and she was saying i'm hungry i'm hungry and i'm thinking really you shouldn't be hungry because your stomach's so small so i think it's more of a mind thing so i'm kind of thinking i have to prepare myself i have to get things lined up that i'm keeping myself busy so i won't have time to think i'm hungry because it's a habit if you're a smoker you know you have a meal you have a drink you have a cigarette and you know if you're a fat person you know you do this you eat you do that you eat you're bored you eat you're happy you eat you're depressed you eat you eat. i mean being overweight is actually really difficult the only way i can describe it is when you have an alcoholic they can stop drinking one drink can open the floodgates and then they start drinking again but they don't need alcohol to live now when you have a eating disorder you need to eat to survive you know so it's so difficult how can you say you, you don't say to an alcoholic have one glass of wine so why would you say to a fat person have three chips have one cookie it's not going to stop there because once you have your taste buds going you just can't stop simple willpower or not it's difficult so yeah that's my thoughts on it anyway i will put this video up now and i will stop talking i just want to thank you all once again for being so supportive leaving me comments uh subscribing to me this is fantastic i'm Every time I check my mail, like someone wants to watch me, I, I just think it's fabulous. I just love it. And I just hope you all enjoy my videos uh, to come. And I just want to thank everyone for sharing this journey with me. So anyway, that's that. And I'll leave you all to it. Take care. Bye.